Hi guys, welcome back to Vacation Bible School. My name is Owen, and I get to hang out with you today. We're continuing our You've Got a Friend in Me adventure, learning about friendship. We're learning all about what it takes to be a good friend, and how Jesus wants to be our best friend. Let's review our definition of friendship. Friendship is using your words and actions to show others you care. Before we start, tell me what your favorite thing was about yesterday. Cool. Maybe it was how Ruth uh, was a such a good friend to Naomi. We've heard three awesome stories from the Bible about friendship and specific qualities or characteristics of being a friend. Let's review. Who remembers the Bible stories we've explored and those qualities? Day one, the Good Samaritan on the lookout. Day two, David and Jonathan being loyal. Day three, Ruth and Naomi putting others first. What about the Toy Story characters and a few different qualities? What was day one? Lenny, and he was on the lookout. Day two, it was Slinky and loyalty. Day three, Buzz and putting others first. Today, our characteristic, our characteristic of friendship is stand up for what is right, and it's Woody. Our theme is all about standing up for what is right. A really good friend will help you to do the right thing, even when others aren't looking. Today is going to be a really good day for us to help to learn and grow other qualities of friendship. You know, in the movie to Toy Story, Woody was a character who really wanted to make the right choice. And he, gave, and he tried to lead the other toys to make the right choice too. He didn't always get it right though. And sometimes he messed up a little. But for the most part, Woody was a good friend when it came to making right choices. Now it comes to our Bible story today. I'm going to read a sentence and you are going to find the picture from your box that shows what part of the story matches. I will have as well. I'll give you some time to find your pictures now. Are you ready? Here we go. King Nebuchadnezzar took control of the Israelites and now was their ruler. Did you find this picture? King Nebuchadnezzar built a golden statue and made a law that said, when the music plays, everyone must bow down and worship the statue. Those who disobey will be thrown into a fiery furnace. Did you find this picture? Three Israelite friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, did not bow down to worship the statue, even though they knew the punishment. They said, we only worship the one true God. The king made the furnace extra hot. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown inside but not hurt. An angel of God was with them. The king took them out of the furnace and praised God. King Nebuchadnezzar made three friends rulers of his kingdom. Good job finding those pictures. These friends stood together and would not worship the gold statue, even though everyone else was doing it. A good friend helps us to do the right thing and to stand up for what is right. Today's activities include coloring a page, shrinky dinks, fiery furnace night lights, a standing up challenge, and a dance party. Remember to ask your friends to look at the parent page. Remember to ask your parents to look at the parent page for more fun ideas as well. Be sure and have your parents send in pictures and videos of your crafts, activities, and games to the op church office at office at maplewoodumc.com. We're almost done with the opening for today. Here's your memory verse for today. It comes from Hebrews 10, 24. Let us help one another do good works. Stop your feet and repeat the verse something like this. Let us help one another to do good work.
works. Now, go have some fun doing the activities that are included in your box for day four. See you in a little bit.